an article costing rupees 20 was marked 25 percent above the cost price an article costing rupees 20 the cost is rupees 20 it was marked 25 percent above the cost price 25 percent above the cost price after two successive discounts of the same percentage the customer now pays rupees 20.25 so there were two successive discounts on the mark price right we get the mark price from the cost price based on the given percentage here then on that marked price there were two successive discounts after two successive discounts of the same percentage the customer now pays rupees 20.25 right the customer now pays 20.25 what would be the percentage change in profit had the price been increased by the same percentage twice successfully instead of reducing it so basically in the real case what has happened the price has been reduced discount means what a reduction in the price so there were two successive discounts so there were two reductions and by which eventually the customer pays 20.25 he makes up some profit the cost shopkeeper makes some profit but then instead of giving discounts if the price let's say was rather increased if the price was increased by the same percentage twice successfully instead of reducing it then what will the percentage change in profit is a question how much will be the percentage change in profit is the question so let's work on it see cost price is equal to rupees 20 marked price will be how much 20 plus 25 percentage of 20 why is it so because it was marked 25 percent above the cost price so cost price plus 25 percent above that now 25 percent of what 25 percent of 20 25 percent of 20 is 5 so 20 plus 5 25 so the mark price is 25 rupees so that's clear costing was 20 the mark price comes out to be rupees 25 yeah now there were two successive discounts of the same percentage there were two discounts the customer now pays rupees 20.25 so selling price whatever the customer pays Whatever the customer pays is selling price. What is the selling price? 20.25. 20.25. So the mark price is 25, cost price is 20. What the customer pays is 20.25. By the way, what will be the profit? Profit you know is selling price minus cost price. So selling price is 20.25, cost price is 20. The profit is going to be 0 0.25, right? 20.25 minus 20. So the cost price is going to be 0 0.25 or 25 paisa, right? The cost price of, sorry, the profit. The profit is going to be 25 paisa, right? We know the cost price. He tells us that the article was marked 25% above the cost price, which means it was marked at 25 rupees. There was some selling price after two discounts. We have not calculated the discount percentage yet. How did we get from rupees 25 to rupees 20.25? Two successive discounts. There were two successive discounts. But what are the what are those discount percentages? Not known to us. However, we finally sell the article at 20.25. The profit made is 25 paisa. Now, first and foremost, we have to identify what these discounts were. What were these two successive discounts? What made it come down to 20.25 from rupees 25? Once you get that percentage here, you have to apply reverse of that percentage. That means here we are reducing it twice. Instead of reducing it twice, increase it twice. 25, let, let's say the discount is X percentage. So this 25 minus X percent minus X percent gives you 20.25. You have to do the other process. 25 plus X percent plus X percentage. You will get the new selling price. For the new selling price, you can find the new profit. And then calculate the percentage change in the profit. This is profit in the first case. What will be the profit in the second case? And then find out the percentage change in the profit. Okay? So, so let's work on this. Now, how do you find out the uh, two successive discounts here? Go for the effective percentage concept. First of all, what's the overall discount? Understand. What's the overall discount? Overall discount. Overall discount is what? See discount is based on selling price and mark price i mean it is a it is a function of selling price and mark price so discount can be calculated as 25 rupees minus 20.25 rupees divided by 25 rupees into 100 right yes or no discount discount is nothing but final final value minus initial value by initial value into 100 of course we should actually be taking selling price minus mark price because it is a, I mean, you will get a negative answer. Discount is negative only, right? Discount means reduction in value. But anyway, in terms of magnitude, you have to find out the percentage change from 25 to 20.25. So 25 minus 20.25 is how much? Uh, 4.75. Yeah, 4.75. And this goes four times. So 4.75 into 4, 16 plus 3, 19. Overall discount comes out to be 19 percentage. The total discount comes out to be 19 percentage. But remember, this 19 percentage this 19 percentage discount is due to two successive discounts what we have calculated is the overall discount total discount but two successive discounts resulted in a 
overall discount of 19 percentage how do you calculate the overall discount i mean see i mean how can you find out the individual discounts from the overall discount here see since it is two successive discounts we can use the concept of effective percentage you remember let's assume the discount in the first case d1 is equal to a percent d2 will also be a percent two successive discounts same same discount discounts of same percentage so overall discount 19 percentage can be taken as remember the formula a plus b plus a b by 100 a plus b plus a b by 100 but since discount is usually like negative right you have to take minus a minus a plus minus a into minus a by 100 equals to minus 19 you understand the point what we have got is a total discount 19 percentage which means the reduction is 19 minus 19 yeah but that minus 19 is because of two successive discounts of same percentage so we are assuming that the percentage is a so use the effective percentage formula this is the effective percentage concept right a plus b plus a b by 100 so minus a minus a a is equal to minus a b is equal to minus a so minus a minus a plus a b by 100 so minus a into minus a by 100 equals to minus 19. overall when we simplify what do we get i think we get minus a minus a is minus 2a right i mean i'm explaining the lengthy process if you can if you can smartly identify what individual discounts will give you overall 19 percent discount you are done half of the problem is done there itself anyway minus 2a this is plus a squared by 100 equals to minus 19 upon simplification i'm, I'm not doing all these intermediate steps here i mean you can solve it yourself you just have to work on the uh, quadratic equation you will get a quadratic equation here try to simplify that you will get a equals to 10 you'll get a is equal to 10 percentage a is equal to 10 percentage which means each of these successive discounts was 10 percentage there were two discounts of 10 percentage each you're getting it there were two discounts of 10 percentage that resulted in a total discount of 19 percentage yeah see if you want to randomly check you can check also right i mean see overall discount is 19 percentage means each discount will be around 9.5 percentage so the best guess is 10 percentage if you want you can check with 10 percentage apply uh, a plus b plus a b by 100 on 10 percentage what do we get apply a plus b plus a b by 100 minus 10 minus 10 plus minus 10 into minus 10 by 100 so minus 10 minus 10 is minus 20 this is plus 1 minus 20 plus 1 is minus 19 you understand which means i am getting 19 what we have got here using 10 percentage as an individual discount so this can be done mentally i mean you have to this is not a very complex calculation right you can in, in the first trial itself i am sure you will get 10 percentage or you have to solve or there is no other way out you have to work on this quadratic equation to arrive at a equals to 10 percentage so what we have understood here is that the individual discount was 10 percentage yeah individual discount was 10 percentage see to avoid confusions let me tell you why are we like this is minus 19 this is plus 19 so you should not be confused actually what happens is I mean, let me let me clear the confusion i mean if you're confused between plus and minus right let me clear that this is actually 20.25 minus 25 why do we create unnecessary confusion 20.25 minus 25 so that gives you minus 4.75 that means it will get minus 19. so that is the reason we're taking minus i mean i'm okay with the sign there it doesn't really matter you're able to follow discount is what selling price minus mark price by mark price in 200 final value minus initial value by initial value in 200 discount is usually negative i mean discount per, it's negative meaning what it is a reduction in the value you can say 19 percentage discount or 19 minus 19 percentage of change in the value yeah anyway so the point is we have found what was this individual discount of the two successive discounts now what does the question say what would be the percentage change in profit had the price been increased by the same percentage twice successfully instead of reducing it so in the original case what happens the price was 25 the price was 25 you give a 10 percentage discount so 25 minus 10 percentage 25 minus 10 percentage will be about 25 minus 2.5 which makes it 22.5 yes or no 22.5 how do we get this 22.5 25 minus 10 percentage of 25 25 minus 2.5 so 22.5 on this 22.5 you take another 10 percentage discount first 10 percentage reduction we make it 22.5 another 10 percentage reduction that will give you 20.25 hold on just a second 
Yeah. So take another 10 percentage discount on this. So 10 percentage of 22.5, which is 2.25. So 22.5 minus 2.25 is 20.25. You understand? 22.5 minus 2.25. So that will give you 20 points. So this is what has happened in terms of discount. But then the new case says that instead of reducing it, instead of taking minus reduction, you now add. So price is 25. The mark price is 25. Yeah. Hold on. The pen is stopped working. Yeah. The price is 25 now you increase it by 10 percentage plus 10 percentage so 25 plus 10 percentage 27.5 25 plus 2.5 again another plus 10 percentage two successive increases right so 27.5 plus 2.75 so 29.5 plus uh, 0.75 is 30.5 30.5 so what was 20.5 earlier has now become 30.5 which means the earlier selling price s was 20.5 the new selling price s dash the new selling price s dash is equal to 30.5 sorry it will be 30.25 27.5 plus 2.75 right 29.5 plus 0.75 yeah it will be 30.25 i mean because i'm explaining in detail it is taking so much of time you can cut down a lot of steps here 30.25 yeah so what was 20.25 in the earlier case has now become 30.25 the new selling price is 30.25 so what's the new profit P dash? Profit is equal to selling price minus cost price. Cost price remains the same. There won't be any change in the cost price. So P dash will be S dash minus C. 30.25 minus 20, which is 10.25. 10.25. That's it. So initial profit is 0.25. The new profit is 10.25. He is asking us to find out the percentage change in the profit. Percentage change in the profit. How do you do percentage change in the profit? Final value minus initial value by initial value to 100. Same percentage change between two values. So percentage change in the profit can be taken as final value 10.25 minus initial value 0.25 by initial value 0.25 into 100. So 10.25 minus uh, 0.25 is 10. 10 by 0 0.25 is 40. 40 into 100 is 4000. So your answer is 4000 percent. 4000 percent. So the percentage change in the profit is going to be 4000 percentage change in the profit is going to be 4000 remember one step which i have not done here i mean i have not solved the complete equation here is this quadratic equation you have to solve it yourself to get 10 percentage but like i said one simple trial and error will give you that the answer is 10 if you don't want to do all this yeah and here also if you don't want to do this exercise plus 10 percentage and then 10 percentage you can apply the effective percentage formula See, when you are subtracting, when you are reducing, you have used minus. When you are increasing, you have to use plus. So instead of minus, use plus, what happens? 10 plus 10, same formula, A plus B plus AB 100. 10 into 10 by 100. So 10 plus 10 is 20, and this is 121 percentage. So basically, the discount was 19 percentage, but when I increase, I have to increase by 21 percentage. So what will be the new price? Uh, 25 plus 21 percentage of 25. 21 percentage of 25 is 5.25. So 25 plus 5.25 will give you the same value. You understand? If you increase 25 by 21 percentage, you will get same 30.25. But remember the actual question says, what will be the percentage change in the profit? What is the percentage change in the profit? Percentage change in the profit is new profit minus old profit by old profit into 100. 10.25 minus 0.25 by 0.25 into 100. It gives you 4000 percentage. Now I know it looks like clumsy and such a long solution, lengthy solution, but there are two different things that we have discussed here. So let me highlight all the unnecessary steps. I mean, you don't really have to write cost price is 20. You don't have to write mark price is equal to 20 plus 25 percentage. This is given if the cost price is 20 and mark price is 25 percentage above it, it will be 25. Selling price is 20.25. This is directly known to us from here, right? So these steps are not steps actually. This, this is the data given in the question itself. Profit again, do you have to write this step? 20.25 minus 20 to get 0.25 no so all this is, is a waste of time in my view i mean you can cut it down for the sake of explanation those are needed what is important here is to understand how do we get that uh, i mean understand that we get 19 percentage discount this is important and then you can cut these things right i mean i am writing only for the sake of explanation that d1 is a percent d2 is a percent 
minus a minus a and all this you can you can cut it down in fact this is not needed like i said if you can do it smartly using trial and error you know that 10 percentage twice will give you 19 percentage like what we have seen here so same 10 percentage twice on a positive side will give you 21 percentage so if you see i think the important steps to be put on paper are these you have to anyway calculate the overall discount which is 19 percentage yeah you have to calculate what will it be when it is plus so first of all you have to arrive at minus 10 i mean using that 19 percentage then do the 10 so increase that selling price by 21 percentage so you can directly say that new selling price is 30.25 i mean you don't have to either do this or increase 25 by 21 percentage like i have explained earlier new profit anyway will be 10.25 then calculate the percentage change so i think not too many steps there it, it looks to be lengthy but actually a simple process and because i'm explaining it has taken so much of time when you do it yourself you will get the answer really quick so 4000 percentage is the change in the profit here 4000 percentage is the final change in the profit when you increase it instead of decreasing it